Boyle's law states that at constant temperature, pressure and volume of a gas are inversely proportional, which means that as pressure increases, volume will decrease, and as pressure decreases, volume will increase. And this can be shown if we look at this box of gas, it's clear that as we exert more pressure, the volume of the gas is going to be smaller. According to Boyle's law, the product of pressure and volume is almost constant, which means that the product of initial pressure and initial volume is equal to the product of final pressure and final volume, or P1V1 is equal to P2V2. And now let's practice some Boyle's law exercises. A sample of argon gas has a volume of 4 liters when the pressure is 1 atmosphere. What volume does argon occupy at 1.5 atmosphere? And my advice for you to solve this question and other questions is to start by writing the given first. It will give you another chance to check if the units need to be converted or not. The initial volume is 4 liters. Initial pressure is 1 atmosphere. Final pressure is 1.5 atmosphere. And the final volume is required to be calculated. We start by writing the formula P1V1 equal to P2V2. Then V2 equal to P1V1 over P2. We replace the variables with their values. We cancel the similar units. And the answer is going to be 2.67 liters. Let's have another exercise about Boyle's law. 200 milliliters of hydrogen gas is kept at constant temperature. It has a pressure of 1.5 atmosphere. Calculate the pressure when compressed to 0.1 liters. We start writing the given. Volume initial is 200 milliliters. Pressure initial is 1.5 atmosphere. The final pressure is required to be calculated. And final volume is 0.1 liters. And here comes the advantage of writing the given. As you can see that we have volume 1 and volume 2 have different units. We cannot proceed unless they have the same unit. So we're going to convert final volume to milliliters. We multiply it with a conversion factor. We put liters in the denominator and milliliters in the numerator. One liter is equal to 1,000 milliliters. We multiply 0.1 by the fraction. And the answer is going to be 100 milliliters. If you need more practice about conversion factors, I will keep a useful link for you in the description box. And now we can apply Boyle's law. P1V1 equal to P2V2. Then... P2 is equal to P1 V1 over V2. We replace the variables by their values. We cancel the similar units and then we do the math. P2 is equal to 3 atmosphere. 